and I'm back. All right, so now we have the rigging holder and the conchos off the front and the strings. So I got a pot with some Dawn dish soap and some water in it that I'm spilling everywhere. The dry pour slab has come in handy for that project right there. It has been raining so much here the past few days. Y'all let me know what kind of oil and conditioner y'all use on y'all saddles. I'm curious. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Value Farm Life. Thank y'all for tuning back in. If you're new here, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It is pretty windy outside today, so I hope that the wind isn't too bad for the, the camera. But we're gonna be tearing in to my daughter's little saddle. Uh, I have a confession to make. <gasps> I'm not very good at the upkeep on these saddles. I, oh, gross! I don't do a good job of washing and oiling them and keeping them in good shape as I need to be. So I'm gonna try to do better at that. I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna tear it down, wash it real good, oil it and condition it. And I'm gonna take y'all along and show y'all how I'm gonna be trying to do it. So first things first, if your saddle has any rigging, this one's only got the front girth. If it has a back girth or a breast collar or anything, then we're gonna go ahead and remove that. And now that we got all of our rigging removed, we'll take these tie strings and untie them. And I think this is called like a blood knot or something. We'll undo all these, pull these conchos out and pull off this rigging holder on all four, on all four corners of this saddle has tie strings. Now, I don't know if y'all can see, but there's a little bitty nail right here. So I'm gonna try to get this nail popped out of here. So now the only thing holding this rigging holder right here on, there's one Phillips headed screw and one little bitty small nail. So now that we have this rig and holder took off, we'll pull these conchos back here off and start taking all this back part loose. All right, so now we have the rigging holder and the conchos off the front and the strings. We've got the concho and the strings off the back. We're gonna pull this screw right here, this screw right here. No, I don't know all the technical terms. So pull these out where we can really get underneath this fender right here and clean really good. And to be able to pull this back fender right here off. So now we've got this concho right here off. You're able to pick up this fender, this whole back piece back here that goes behind the seat. There's one nail in here, or maybe two, that's holding it in, in underneath the fender. We'll pull that nail out. We'll swap to the other side, pull the conchos just like we did on this side. And this whole back fender part should come off.
So now we have all the conchos, the tie strings, rigging holders, everything off of it. I'm gonna take this, just a regular old garden hose and spray it down really, really good. Try to get all the loose dirt that I can off before I get the soap and the scrub brush after it. All right, so we got all the loose dirt off of it. It's pretty pretty clean as far as water hose can do. So I got a pot with some Dawn dish soap and some water in it that I'm spilling everywhere. And I'm gonna take this scrub brush and just scrub it down real good. That's all I'm doing is just getting the dirt off of it. And I'm back. So it's been about two and a half, maybe three hours since I sprayed this saddle last. And to be honest, the top is still just a little bit damp. So I'm going to leave it alone for another little while. I'm going to make sure it's really good and dry. It's dry all the way to the middle. I don't want any kind of moisture in there when I try to start oiling and condition it. So that's going to have to be in the next video. But before I go, I want to go show y'all the final product of the saddle rack. It turned out absolutely amazing. So let's go take a look. Here it is the final product it was a long journey but it was worth it in the end i want to take a minute and talk about these two saddles right here we'll talk about this one first obviously if y'all if y'all have been watching my channel for a little while you've seen me win this this uh saddle about i don't know three or four months ago so it's fairly new 
Uh, it's my first saddle I ever won, so it's always going to be important to me, but not quite as important as this saddle. This was my grandpa's old saddle that he gave me a few years ago, and it just means the world to me that he trusted me enough to give it to me. So I will forever cherish this and take as best care as I can of it. And really and truly, this is the saddle that was the reason for this whole saddle rack build. I didn't want to keep it outside. I wanted to keep it inside where it was safe and out of the weather. So I feel really blessed to have it and I hope to have it for many more years. But thank y'all for tuning in this week. Y'all check back in Tuesday to see the final product on the saddle that we are all in right now. The dry pour slab has come in handy for that project right there. It has been raining so much here the past few days. We finally have a pretty day, but the ground is wet. So luckily I had the dry pour slab to stand on to all that saddle. So I feel very blessed about that and it is working out tremendous. But enough of all that. I'll see y'all Tuesday, but until then y'all stay safe. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see y'all then.